Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last night, President Obama called on Congress to work together on behalf of the American people. It's a call I hear from my constituents in Illinois every day. So as we begin the 114th Congress, I rise on their behalf to urge my colleagues to rise above partisanship to strengthen our economy and put even more Americans back to work. Today, all signs point to our economy being the strongest it's been in nearly a decade. Businesses are flourishing. We've gained nearly 3 million new jobs. But there are still 8.7 million Americans living in the shadow of the economic crisis who are struggling with chronic unemployment. They deserve a Congress that is focused and united in putting them back to work. Let's work to reduce the tax burden on the middle class, putting more money in their pockets and making it easier for them to afford their homes and to send their kids to school so that the American dream is within everyone's reach. Americans want a Congress that can overcome partisan gridlock to put the people first. I urge my colleagues to put politics aside to find a middle ground to help our middle class and put more Americans on the path to opportunity and prosperity. I yield back. Gentlewoman's time has expired.